Joining us now on the Deseret First Credit Union hotline is Kalani Purcell of BYU Women's Basketball, the West Coast Conference Newcomer of the Year. Kalani, congratulations on a first-round win. What are you going to do for the next two days? <laughs> Thanks. Um, relax? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not too sure yet. What do you do to relax? Uh, go swimming, I guess. Is that it? Is this swimming? You just swim for two days? Well, it's nice, so okay. make the most of it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Our Twitter question today is dealing with BYU men's basketball. We've been asking all of the uh, fans across BYU Sports Nation that the Cougars will win by 17-plus if what happens. What do you think the BYU men need to do to win by 17 or more? Uh, I think they need to move the ball a lot, like, together. They showed a few... Uh, Highlights of them moving the ball really well, and they scored super, like really easily. Sounds good to me. When they have moved the ball well, they have been uh, better this year. Yesterday, you put up 19 points, 11 rebounds, and 8 assists, too shy of a triple-double. Did you have any idea you were only 2 assists away from a triple-double? No, I had no idea until uh, me, Daddy, and Kenzie went into the interview room after, and he said that, and I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. It's kind of it's kind of like finding a ten dollar bill like in your pocket when you forget about it. Like, oh, <laughs> sweet! How about a one? <laughs> when when uh, you're only two assists away, who should be the one on the bench that's telling you that? Melinda, Dan, somebody else? Uh, it's usually the a I have a couple of the girls like Alohi. She usually is the one that tells me. So she didn't tell you yesterday. Is that what you're telling us? Yeah. Hey, we, we could step up our game a little bit here. I think that's what we figured out. Yeah, here. we'll try and pass that <laughs> note down the line. When you got to eight assists and there were still four minutes left, I was like, man, how do we tell them? <laughs> and that's never happened in BYU women's basketball history. And you've been on the cusp a couple of times. What, is that, what does that mean to be so close to that uh, elusive triple-double? Uh, I think it just means that, like, you know, it's that we, like, together as a team are playing really well. Like, it's not just one person's taking shots. Like, it's just everyone's, you know, contributing somehow. You kind of seemed to flip a switch yesterday in the second quarter. It was it was kind of a slow start for BYU, but then all of a sudden you and Lexi really got going in the second quarter, and then the second half really opened things up. What changed early in that game against Pepperdine? Uh, I think I was just getting really annoyed because I was missing all my shots and my layups. <laughs> so, so I was like, I'm going to make this one this time. I just got to make you mad a little bit, like Lexi, yeah, right? Just make you mad and you guys play great. <laughs> What what uh, in in Lexi's case that we've seen that if she's ticked off she's a better player like last year she didn't get Player of the Year um, maybe deserved it all of a sudden you know she explodes in the tournament BYU wins it what is it about maybe that mindset that that helps you guys uh, I think it just focuses us a little bit more like when we're like annoyed or like ticked off about something we kind of sit down on the things that we really need to do and that helps us a lot. Is there any conversation from anybody on the team or coaching staff that's trying to help you with maybe getting ticked off and <laughs> extra motivated? <laughs> um, yeah, Melinda and Dan usually, uh, and Ray, they all, all three of them like say something to me at the start or during the game all the time and stuff. What, <laughs> like, what, are, what are they saying? They, what are they saying? Um, I don't, You're it's soft. Like, it, it changes. <laughs> no. You're soft. You're soft, Kalani. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It changes all the time. Fair enough. Well, as long as they're saying something and it's working, we're cool with that. At Kalani Purcell on Twitter, the West Coast Conference Newcomer of the Year, joining us on BYU Sports Nation. Your parents and family, I'm guessing, are watching live in New Zealand, right? Yeah. Okay, so if you played at noon yesterday, what what time is it there? Are, are they watching? Yeah. Live? Yeah. Okay, so what, what time were you playing yesterday in New Zealand? Um, I think it was... 9 a.m. It was 9. Wow, it's, so it's a 21-hour difference. Yeah. The next day. So you're yeah. playing at noon on Friday, and they're watching on Saturday morning at 9 o'clock. Yeah. You're playing in the past. Them. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not current. It's it's past. What what in the world? Hey, Kyle Collinsworth said he was going to play like a dragon in the West Coast Conference Tournament. So what animal do you want to play like in this tournament? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, do you have a spirit animal? Do I have one? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're still working on Jerem Jordan's, too. We're trying to think of what his spirit animal I would said, be. I said honey badger for Nick Emery. I said <laughs> eagle for Chase Fisher. 
yeah. Lexi Eaton, what's the most ferocious animal? That's that's what Lexi Eaton Rydolch is. The most ferocious? Yeah. What's the most ferocious snake in New Zealand? We don't have snakes. You don't have snakes in New Zealand? I'm moving to New Zealand <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> 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 okay, well, while you think about that, I want to talk about the matchup with Santa Clara on Monday. And you said something <coughs> in the post game that I thought was interesting. You said, I love physical games, and Santa Clara is a very physical team. Why do you prefer to play the Broncos in that type of setting? Um, well, like, playing a more physical game is just, I don't know, I think it's just more fun. Because you can, like bump people around i guess <laughs> you like to swing the arms a little bit create some <laughs> contact okay i, I won't I, hey that i'm not gonna find ball with that <laughs> kalani after saturday's game in spokane you guys were on such an incredible run and then that didn't that didn't seem to set you back against pepperdine i was impressed by that what what was it about this week that made you guys so successful yesterday um well like after the loss it was i don't know it was kind of a wake-up call i feel like like it was something that was uh, told us that we're not, like, an unbeatable team. And so I think that was, like, a real wake-up call for us because we didn't play the best against them. And so we realized that if we don't play good against Pepperdine, like, we could lose. Are you a little bit disappointed, be honest, that Gonzaga didn't win so you don't get a chance at, you know, redemption, if, if you will, down here in Vegas? Uh, <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> Like, we're all talking about it. We hope we get to see them again. But, I mean, it is it is what it is. You split with Gonzaga this season, 16-2 and in conference, hoisting that West Coast Conference regular season trophy with three games left. What, I mean, what is the ceiling for this team? I already have accomplished so much and went on that crazy. And what's, what's the ceiling for BYU women's basketball? Uh, did you say the feeling or the ceiling? The ceiling, as in how high do you think this team can go this year? Oh, um. I mean, the sky's the limit, right? Absolutely. Kalani, thank you for the time. Again, follow her on Twitter at Kalani Purcell, the West Coast Conference Newcomer of the Year representing New Zealand. We hope your parents are proud and watching live whatever time it is now, 7 a.m. or whatever. Uh, but enjoy the weekend and swimming and relaxing, and uh, we'll see you on the court on Monday. All right. Thank you.